My favorite team has always been Michigan State. And it was always my dream to play here. My dad, he always had me in Breslin. He always had me around the players. It wasn't always one-on-one -on -one time, but it was just the fact of being in the building or being around him that really mattered to me. How many senior days have I been here for? I'd probably say all of them. Every senior day, it wasn't my dad taking a picture with the players. It was my dad, my sister, my mom and I all taking pictures with these players and their families and being involved, showing the family atmosphere. So I always knew how important kissing the ass was. I'm recording. I've done that probably a thousand times on my own when I was a little kid. All right. I don't think he was looking ahead saying, I'm going to do that someday. I think he saw people do it, and it had an impact on his life. I played basketball my entire life. My junior year, we weren't very good and, you know, wasn't playing that much. Summer of Steven's junior year when he told me he was not going to go out for basketball. I understood he's Tom Izzo's son and the magnitude of that in this small town. And uh, it had to be a lot of pressure. And so I told him I was fine with it, but he was going to participate in some extracurricular activity. And he said, well, maybe I'll come out for your team next year. And I laughed. And I said, I'm not taking a player that never played in high school. I said, I'm not doing that. And I made him a deal. I said, I'll tell you what, you work to make your high school team. You can be a walk-on for us next year. I ended up playing basketball. It was a great experience for me. Learned a lot about myself. Became a much better teammate. And, you know, just really the value of winning pushed me along the way and helped me grow. He asked me when his weightlifting started, in June when he graduated. I said, well, it started last week. He said, well, I'll be there Monday. And I said, uh, okay. And uh, that first day, I mean, it was comical. I mean, here is 135 pound body is trying to lift with all the other guys and he's throwing up all over. I told my wife, this won't last long. Well, five years later, it still lasted, and it's probably the greatest thing I've had happen to me is the five years with him that made up for the 18 years when I probably wasn't as good a dad as I needed to be. I laugh. I cry. I'm just as human as everyone else. Never felt like I'd have to hide my emotions. In fact, I don't like people that hide their emotions. Emotions let people know you care. If they're mad, if you're sad, if you laugh, if you cry, they're emotions that mean it's important. As much as I don't want to admit, I'm probably an exact miniature version of my father. Everyone always makes fun of me because I cry, but I cry because I care. This whole walking on experience, being a part of the basketball team has been a dream come true. The most tear-jerking part of just having Steven here is at the end of every game, you know, when the crowd starts chanting for him. There's been three moments that I really look at. The first free throw he made. And here we go. Shot is away. It is good! It's good! The first game here in Madison Square Garden that he was just out there warming up and I'm looking around saying, wow. You know, what a lucky kid. And the last one, of course, is when he made a real shot in a real game. I just sat there and, uh, and watched him make this 
little move, and all of a sudden the shot went up. And I said, that has a chance. Shots away. Oh, he got it! He got it! He got it! He got it! Steven Izzo, are you kidding me? And I said, wow, it just doesn't get any better than that. I realized then that he impacted other people. And that is what we all should be put on this planet to do, is impact and make a difference for other people. He came over, he gave me a hug, I told him I loved him. And I just looked around and I said, you know, my kid, just made 15,000 people happy. If I died that day, I'd have been okay. I'll go down under with those three as memories. Senior day will probably be the fourth. There'll be nothing that'll be as moving and as enlightening and as etched in stone in my brain as those kind of events.